not least because he was tasked with foretelling the impending doom of Judah and the exile of the people. What a task God gave him. What a Herculean task. We can imagine our own discomfort at being asked to speak such a difficult message. Yet, from the beginning of Jeremiah's ministry, God promised him that he would be with him, as it was God who called Jeremiah to the task, God surely would not forsake him, but would accompany him throughout his ministry. The first verse of today's reading from Jeremiah rings with sorrow as he laments the loss of his friends and the voices of opposition that surround him. His words evoke a sense of despair. In the next three verses, though, we see a man who is comforted and confident. Why is that? Jeremiah proclaims, The Lord is with me like a mighty champion. My persecutors will stumble. They will not triumph. And later he says, Sing to the Lord. Praise the Lord. For he has rescued the life of the poor from the power of the wicked. Yes, the Lord is with Jeremiah, and the Lord will guide his steps. Jeremiah has nothing to fear. The knowledge of God's presence with Jeremiah allows him to sing with joy the praises of the Lord. Brothers, as consecrated men of our Lord Jesus, we are prophetic voices. Our task is different from Jeremiah's, but our objective is the same to speak the truth about God's love for humanity and his desire for people to live within that love. To speak the truth about God's love for humanity and his desire for people to live within that love. Our task in today's church brings us into conflict with opposing voices, people who do not want to hear the joyful news of the gospel that we bring. This cannot stop us from continuing our work. This cannot stop us from laboring faithfully and with devotion to our Lord. Our love for God and the truth of the gospel compels us to stay on mission. Like Jeremiah, we pursue our task with the assurance that yes, God is with us. And this assurance leads us onward as we too sing to the Lord and praise Him for all of His goodness to us.